A question I get asked a lot at the moment is when are golf club prices on the second hand market going to come down to sensible amounts? Well, with a bit of inside information today, I think I can hazard a guess. Moment. And it is a supply and demand issue that we're in at the moment. The information that I've got recently is that. Now, for some of you guys that don't live in the UK, I think you can tell by my skin complexion, it's got a bit warmer here in the UK, which I'm not complaining about. Guys, how you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. Simon, on my way to go and pick up some golf clubs, 100 pounds, speed blade irons, about 40 minutes, I've just put the kids to bed. So it's gone seven o'clock in the evening, so I'm gonna go and pick those up. So let's go and have a look at them, which is also interesting, but main topic of this video, when a price is gonna go back down to normal, i.e. 30 pounds for a driver, or stuff that's 30 years old is basically in a charity shop rather than going for 50, 60 pounds, that kind of idea. And there's some main factors, obviously this is all predictions on my part, but I'm, mm, I've got my finger on the pulse quite close to these um, matters and I do do a lot of research and it's in my best interest to know when it's, the price is gonna go up or go down. And I think I've got quite a decent idea when it's all gonna be resolved and we can go back to having nice, cheap, golf sets again not everything going for 200 300 pounds if you like this video leave it a like subscribe if you're new let's get into right. it arrived at the location ford's pitch and wedge tailor-made speed blade irons kind of that kind of cavity back iron very similar to the rbz in last week's video or the m6 irons or the sim max it, they're just cast they're big they're chunky but obviously they're going to be suited to quite a few people out there at the moment and it is a supply and demand issue that we're in at the moment the information that I've got recently is that a lot of manufacturers, and this comes from a reliable source, i.e. a big name brand store here in the UK, their lead times are six to eight weeks. August slash September is when they're even going to get the majority of this stuff into the UK. January is estimated the time of the two biggest manufacturers to sell clubs in the UK are going to get somewhat back to normal like if you're a club fitter or you work in a pro shop you know normally a set of irons is pretty much color custom fit by the way five to seven days order them week later they're in your shop customer gets them week at the moment six to eight weeks you are lucky and that is why all the prices are driving up let me go and get these clubs and here they are Taylor made speed blade irons cast Delofted, gonna go a mile, forgiving, you name the business. I never heard of a Uniflex on a tailor-made set of irons, by the way. It did say Uniflex, so I just thought that the person um, uh, just presumed it, thought it was regular, grips in decent condition. But yeah, Uniflex, which is quite interesting. So basically, Uniflex is halfway between regular and seniors or ladies, you could say. So it's gonna be softer and regular, basically. But as I say, it's gonna suit a lot of people out there at the moment that are just starting this game. But manufacturing lead times are basically one element of this tornado that has caused basically what should be worth 100 pounds by the way i think about two years ago when i started doing these videos 140 150 pounds maximum like all day long you could find four sets of these on ebay for that price so i think manufacturing lead times is one element because you've got people that would normally just go and buy brand new stuff Therefore, they don't really mind buying something that's six, seven, eight years old that's £100 or £120 or £140. They just want it now. And I can completely understand. I mean, if you've got the bug this year and you want to get out and play golf, you don't want to wait eight weeks to get a set of golf clubs. You want to play now. The summer's going to be over, especially in this country. We have to take the sun when we can get it. As I said, there's a few other elements. But in the next part of this video, I'll talk about the other elements of why the prices are going up. Stay in there. But when they, more importantly, will come back down. Catch you tomorrow. And good morning guys, how are you all doing? Down here at Lower Hennick Driving Range. Clean these up, these do actually look in really good shape. So I'm actually really pleased with them and how they obviously turned out. Now as I said in the first part of this video, manufacturer lead times is obviously one part, but it's not all of it. And there's a few others that go inside that kind of concoction of why prices are so high. The second one is the amount of people that have taken up this game over the last year and a half has been exceptional. Guys that I've known for years that I've persuaded, honestly, try it, you'll like the game. I've always said no. They'll play football, tennis, cricket, whatever the other sports or hobbies or activities are. Now this year, or the last two years, 
It's obviously only sport that you've been able to play. Now, not necessarily the upside of that because there's still going to be a lot of people still playing this game for now, forever, into their 40s, 50s, 60s, which is fantastic for the sport, fantastic for the golf clubs, and fantastic for just general golf. But there's going to be a lot of people that get the bug hard, just like you might know quite a few people, and potentially will then fall out in love in a year, two years. It's a hard game, it's an emotional taxing game. It takes time. Not all of us have the amount of time to perfect, not can't perfect this game, but get better at this game. Enjoy it week in, week out. It is an emotionally taxing game. And it will get to quite a few people. A lot of people that either bought brand new or second hand will start to find not necessarily that quick success it's like a video game you get very quick success at the start and then as you get on you get further on it gets harder to get that certain element that certain skill as they go forward and it's not for everyone now with the combination of the other factors i.e manufacturers will catch up come winter time january february march next year people potentially getting a bit tired of the game after playing it a year, year and a half, two years, not necessarily making the same gains and strides, I feel like around that time we're going to start to see a lot more people potentially giving up the game, packing it up. So they'll be selling their clubs. Not only that, we're not going to have that massive influx of people coming into the game in that springtime next year because fingers crossed everything's lifted people can go away people can go back to playing the sports that they used to be used to be playing therefore you're going to have a high amount of supply and not necessarily the demand and to cap off those two combinations we've got the third one and that is weather winter time always sees a drop in prices because people that sell their clubs change upgrades move them on whatever it might be and also christmas brand new stuff gets bought, second hand stuff doesn't necessarily see as much love. So with a combination of manufacturers going to start catching up come winter time. People, I think after that two year period, if they started two years ago because of golf being the only sport they could play, that's another factor. And then with the weather. So if you're looking to wait and hold out so that you can then buy a second hand set for what it was two, three years ago, my prediction based on the evidence would be around this Christmas time. Now there's two sides to this. Number one, a lot of you guys potentially are waiting. I do get asked this a lot. When will clubs get cheaper? There is my prediction. January next year, I think you'll see quite a lot of stock. Second hand club prices going back down. For the meantime, I'm going to say that it's going to be at all time high. Restrictions are still very much here in the UK, obviously being extended. We don't know what the future is going to hold. Therefore, whilst COVID is a thing, and things are limited, activities are li limited. The sports, the hobbies, the activities that are accessible and able to do are always gonna be at a premium. So, here's my two pieces of advice. Number one, wait to January to fully upgrade your bag, save a bit of money now, do your research. If you see any good deals, like lightning good deals, then obviously spring on them, but otherwise wait. Practice, hone your skill, and your game. Number two, compared to brand new stuff, Second hand is definitely better value, 100%. I could spend seven, 800 pounds at the moment on second hand stuff and get as good value, as good technology, impact, you name it, than spending two grand on brand new stuff and waiting, waiting six to eight weeks. So yes, I do talk about the market being overvalued, but I still think it's underrated compared to going and getting new equipment. For a lot of you guys that just started this game, I'm talking to you guys that started in the last year, the last two years. I'll show you week in, week out, the particular deals. And I'm not looking for anything in particular. A lot of people got messaging me going, Simon, I'd love a set of M6s. And I'm like, so would I. But I take what I can get. I'm not picky. I want to go and find stuff. And I show realistically, these are the same as tailor-made M6s. There's nothing different. Same head design, same metal that's gone into it, same shaft. I mean, let's be honest, the Dynamic Gold S300, R300 have been around for near on 15 to 20 years. It hasn't changed. The grips are the same. The badge, the plastic on the back of them have. 
So that's my two pieces of advice. Go and buy your second hand equipment if you can afford it at the moment and don't change it for two years. Therefore, you got the value. What I don't want you to do is buy high now and then sell in January because you see everything go off cheap. And then same as stock, you want to buy low, sell high. At the moment, golf's very much got the hype, but if you're going to stick it out, if you're going to hold the equipment for two years because you want to play this game, you want to learn further, you want to get better, then by all means, go and buy it now. I don't think anything's wrong with that. But if you do want to get the best for your buck, I think it's going to be this winter. On another point, I'd like to add in, we've had two years of new equipment come out. Okay somewhat limited because you still have to wait six to eight weeks. But I still think that manufacturers are working overtime to get as much equipment out as they can. The demand has never been higher. But as I said two, three weeks ago, the newer stuff doesn't actually go for that much second hand. Like Epic Flash is two years old, 200 pounds. You can pick up loads of them. The Mizuno S200, again, 180 pounds, 160 pounds, the Callaway Maverick. These kind of products are getting churned out quicker and quicker and quicker and because people can't really be bothered to wait six to eight weeks, I'd be very interested to see what the prices of the SM2 is, the Rad Speed next year, the G425 from Ping, because it's always a supply and demand issue and a lot of people are going to that five year old, six year old, seven year old, 100 pound mark, the 100 pound mark at the moment seems like brilliant value, it's like two, three bed houses at the moment here in the UK, they're going for way over the odds because they kind of fit the bill for everyone, price, size, whatever, same with 100 pound drivers, everything with a 460 head and a graphite shaft is going for 100 pounds which is heavily overvalued, but the newer stuff, the 450 on the second hand market, no one really wants because they're like well if I can't get fitted for it, and I've got to wait six to eight weeks if I do want to get fitted for it, then I don't want to spend 350, I don't want to spend 300, I don't want to even spend 250 pounds. So with this all being said, I'd keep an eye out on the newer stuff. If you can pick up this year's driver for 200 pounds in, I don't know, six months, seven months, I think that's going to be a good deal because I think it's going to hold its price nicely going forward. Those 100 pound drivers at the moment, that is basically fits everyone's books, I can see going back down to £30, £40 where they were. It's just a thought, but obviously I saw it with last year's stuff and I can't see why this year is going to be any different. So guys, quick video today. I'm up, I'm out. I'm going to be making quite a few videos this week. So if you wouldn't mind leaving this video a like, subscribing if you're new, and then obviously give me your thoughts. What are your thoughts and predictions of the second-hand club market going back to normal? See you guys there.